Hey, hi friends. Welcome to Cyber Security Cookies. This is our next bite for the week. And today we are going to discuss an important concept about information security, which is known as CIA. Uh, it stands for confidentiality, integrity and availability is uh, one of the fundamentals which we all need to know. On top of that, I will be taking another term called as non repudiation. So let's start and let's start understanding what is CIA. So the first term I have is confidentiality, which is um, more towards uh, that the information provided to us is safe from any kind of accidental or in intentional disclosure. That means if I send a message to Bob and he should be the only one know that the message is for him and no one else. So that is what confidentiality is. Uh, that means do not have any kind of unauthorized disclosure. The second term will be integrity. Uh, this will be more towards uh, safeguarding the information from any kind of accidental or intentional modification or alteration. So it, it, is, it shows that it's, there's an accuracy and completeness in the data which is sent over. An example will be if I send a message for Mike, and Mike receives it and he should receive what exactly we have sent to him and there is no change. That means the information is accurate and complete. The third term will be availability. This is more towards a uh, system availability or availability of the information. That means the information is available when it is needed. So let's say to, to give an example is if I send a message to Tom and he receives it, and he receives it by uh, time he needs it. So that's the most important thing. So all these terms uh, uh, will be overall is like uh, the key is or the data is not disclosed, not tampered, and it is available. Now the important term or uh, the, another term I want to introduce today is non-repudiation. Uh, to understand more about non-repudiation, it gives us an assurance that the sender of information is provided with proof of delivery or I can say the recipient is provided with proof of sender's identity. At, at any stage, neither of them can deny the information has been processed. Uh, to give an example, uh, let's say Mike sends a message to Bob. So Bob has a proof that message has been sent to him by Mike and then Mike cannot deny the message was not sent by him. Okay, so these are four terms which I want you to understand It's very critical, very important for any person who's managing information security. I have got these definitions away uh, from Wikipedia. You can refer to them um, moving to the next. So I've put CIA triad as three sides of a triangle that is more for an easy understanding. So it also means that they are interlinked and required to achieve information security foundation. An effective system or any information system will satisfy all the three components that is confidentiality, integrity and availability. An information security system that is lacking in any one of these three aspects is insufficient. I've also put a very key term for you and which is an opposite of uh, CIA is called DAD, DAD. So DAD stands for disclosure, alteration, and destruction. Then how uh, we actually achieve all the, or I would say the three aspects of the CIA trial. So if you take confidentiality, it is achieved via using an encryption or a file permission. Encryption is something when you are when you are sending a data across the internet, then the data is encrypted. That means it's only known between a user or a computer or between two users. So encryption is uh, you will be or will be re reading more terms about it uh, like public key infrastructure, which I'll be sharing in my next videos. File permission is more uh, the access is only provided to certain users. Then integrity is provided by hashing. Hashing is a one way algorithm, which we'll also discuss later and for digital signatures. 
Availability is more on the redundancy and the backups. So that means you have multiple copies available or you have a backup available or you have redundancy, let's say, in your service provider. So the conclusion uh, for today is when you design any security solution or you're performing any solution assessment or addressing any cyber issue, always focus on CIA Triad. That will be very convenient and very much needed for any kind of assessment. So that's all. Thanks again for taking time uh, joining me on for this session. Uh, if you like the video, please like it, share it, subscribe to my channel. And I hopefully look for you for the next video on my, in uh, next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.